what's up everybody welcome back to third person my name is chris that's mike what's going on uh yeah mikey so uh uh episode five the terror infamy shadow like yeah. a pearl uh is another good episode yeah. we um a lot of a lot of things kind of happen in this episode a lot of spooky supernatural things but also some other regular stuff too um I wanted to just real before we go into we go to with Chester and all the stuff that's going on there. Let's just go to like Amy and her boyfriend Ken and just let's let's go through that there. So uh, see Thomas Howell, the the, the commander, or the captain, whoever the guy is, I forget his name. Yeah, he sets up this thing where oh you gotta you gotta register, you gotta register yourself, right? Um, and then if you don't, then you know you I don't know they kill you, send you away. Who the hell knows? Uh, but they do you know. So uh, more bullshit. I think, right? I think it was more like you're imprisoned or you're going to the military. It's like one of those two. You know, you're going to fight. It's like a to prove your loyalty kind of a thing. Right. It was, right. And uh, so you know, some of the younger guys obviously they're like, oh, we're not doing this. We're not gonna. We're not yeah. gonna do this. And and you know, we're answering no to this and blah blah. And she's like, just it's just a piece of paper, just write on the thing. But basically, you know, I don't know how you felt, but I was kind of like, yeah, if they say yes, they're gonna get put in the military if they say no they get imprisoned they're gonna get in prison so it's like you're damned if you do you're damned if you don't so yeah i don't know that's a, i mean that's a that's a tough choice and that's a tough choice for these i mean obviously they're proud they're americans you know what i mean well, and Japanese it's just these americans and that's, that's yes the key. but they're technically they're american born cheat children you know yeah, what i mean exactly right so they it's wanted just... so he you know that guy ken was like yeah i mean i'll go fight for my country you know this is my country i'll you know whatever i'm not gonna i'm gonna stand and then this bitch fucking changes it she yeah. changes it i was like oh my god i'm like you know he's gonna find out mm -hmm. and, and then and then all that was that was just fucked up all all his all his buddies were being taken away for saying no and this guy's like Oh, he looks he like said, a fraud. Yeah, and he's like, no, no. Oh, that was great, man. Yeah, that was great. Yeah. Um, you know, I mean, sucked, but she was she fucked up. She fucked up. Yeah, she fucked yeah. up. You know, bottom line. Um, so that's what's going on there. But here's here's the interesting thing. So also there, Luce is gone. Just gone. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah yeah. The children mistaken her. As like a ghost in the in the lake in the woods, you Walking know, around, she's, covered all mud and all shitty like. Yeah, she's obviously having a, a you know a really difficult time uh, with what happened, and obviously the episode also starts with Chester finding out the news, which was yeah. obviously very rough. But he yeah, was all loses. Fucked up. Yeah. Oh, he's yeah he he was he felt kind of useless obviously obviously because he's so far away, but yeah, loses um, seeing the images uh, of her of her children in the water there and, and this and that. It's like, she's grasping for them and she's getting obviously covered in all the smud and whatnot. Yeah. She looks like a ghost. She does look like and a obviously, ghost. yeah. And it's, and it's, it's, um, it's bittersweet because obviously the family kind of like warms up to her, obviously. Cause she comes out and the mother wraps her up in the blanket. Yeah. They're, they're taking care the of her, which is, is very which is nice. Yeah. It's nice. Cause they've come, I mean, they've come a long way since obviously the beginning when we find out she's pregnant with Chester's kid. So, yeah. There's a lot. I mean, there's a lot going on. The actors are fantastic, and I think that that's what. Uh, I mean, we we both could agree on is that the show is very, um, it's very entertaining, uh, especially with what goes on with Yuko, and we'll get to that too. So, yeah, a lot of crazy stuff. Um, but with Luce, so what like do you her, think of? Her, yeah. Well, I was gonna oh, say no, like go, go. her dad comes to get her, for two. Well, first yeah. he comes to tell her that her brother died in 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 the war. Yeah. Apparently he was fighting in the war whatever so yeah so he he gets killed and and then he sees how she is her dad and he's like you know what it's time for you to come time for you to come home yeah i think they gave her she had to fill out some papers or something they said within three he's days like, we'll I'm, gonna, yeah, I'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna bring you home we're going home yeah um i mean which is i, I don't think she it's goes. the last we're gonna she goes but she's in a she's in a crazy mindset and and the scene with her obviously leaving and and Henry uh, running to her and well, and hugging her and stuff was, I mean it was nice to see like I said before yeah. the bond that the family's kind of making with her and they understand what happened and what she must be going through. They're family so, now it's like a family. Yeah, I, I mean nice, I yeah. think um, yeah I think that um, she's I think she'll probably come back or somebody somehow. Well, you didn't see the coming attractions then, did you? No, no. Yeah, loses, okay, so. loses gonna. Yeah, I mean, so coming attractions. Her and Chester 
they they're together. So okay, well, good. Yeah, so so he's gonna he's gonna he's gonna end up going home. Yeah. He's gonna get sent home. So yeah, so let's let's go to Chester. Let let's go there. So mm. we see. He, here's the crazy thing. Yuko yeah. it has to get the Chester. Okay, so Yuko has to know. It has to be something where Chester and his family, or even just Chester, yeah, was something to Yuko in the past because That's she's the assuming. one protecting him. Yeah, but then so she she packs herself up into a duffel bag. And jumps into one of the and, new translators, and, right? And gets herself shipped over to Guadalcanal. So it's like, what the hell? Mm-hmm. And at first, I was like, "What is what is happening?" And then well, all of a sudden, I realized. What's what's did you think that it was initially the doctor in the bag? What doctor? The doctor that she killed. That one. No, that, oh no, 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 no. I kind of thought that. I mean, obviously, you see the face after. Yeah. But initially, I'm like, oh, is it the doctor in the bag? Is like. You know, because this is the first time we're seeing her in a body, but carrying that that other vessel, that Yuko vessel, which is obviously being worn to shit because so, that's why on. it's like so, nothing so, left. Hold on. So that's her body. That's, that's Yuko's that's body. Yuko, in real life Yuko. But obviously there's a spirit because she can travel. Right. So she can, she can, right. So it's very, all right. So, we're, all right, so it's so like we're, the we're more kind of, you use it, the we're more getting, you lose. Yeah, we're, we're getting there, guys. It's yeah. We're figuring out how this works. So she has herself shipped to go to Chester. Yeah, which was fucking crazy. Gets with Chester. Well, all right, we'll go there in a second towards the end. But yeah. Chester, in the meantime, yeah, they're, they're going to get replacements, blah, blah, blah. They're told to watch a Japanese soldier, which is like, which is a little bit like, all right. I, I felt like it was just a way for them to get to, to this guy. Like, there were... There wasn't any reason. The reason that he, I don't even remember the reason, but well, they wanted him. They wanted to translate his his the things that they found. But then they was also like, you could babysit him until the, until the interrogator comes. And yeah, well, because like, Chester Chester is obviously not just like this translator guy. Chester has a lot to him. Yeah, and but he, he has said a lot don't of, talk to him. He said don't engage. He was telling him don't engage. Don't well, engage. don't engage. Yeah, don't because obviously this guy is going to say anything under the moon, but. Right. So, Chester does have a, a, other skills, you know. So, he does. He's an intelligent guy, right. so he even questioned some of the things that they wanted. Um, uh, you know what? What this sergeant or whatever denied him to to do. You right. know what I mean? So it's like Chester's a smart dude. At, I mean, I think that that whole those that that in between that back and forth of Chester and uh, I think his name was Otto or Odo. I mm-hmm. believe they said, because at one point he says Odo is dead. And that mm-hmm. was crazy because it's like, is this the Yuri? And the guy's playing Chester by saying, I'm going to kill your family, you know, and this and that. Well, yeah, uh, he, well, he, 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 he immediately latches on to the fact yeah. that, yeah, he latches on. And then he, it was and great. And says his name, which. Well, he must have heard it because he heard yeah, it. Yeah, he heard it from somewhere or something. Chester, he calls him. Yeah, Dude, that was, that was sick. I mean, look, I, I'm a. <sighs> I, I I loved how he was just yelling at him. Yeah, and yeah. it sounded like you know it sounded like uh, like an anime, like when when they're yelling at each other in an anime. And it was so cool, and yeah. it's like you could totally see like this being like an animated film because it's just like like Attack on Titan or something. You know what I mean? It's just like yeah. you know yeah. an angry Japanese man yelling at another man. It's just it's it's I, I love I love that in like anime. And it was very anime at, for, to me at that moment because the things he was saying them one. Right, and the way he was yelling at him, it was like that's exactly what would happen. So you could totally see this as an animated series, you know, with something like that happening. But yeah, he uh, was. I mean, he was getting at. Listen, at one point he had said um, about the children, he's like, they're lucky to be spared from this world. You know, I, I told you off. I had told you off camera um, how much I like this scene because of they're they're two Japanese men, even though Chester is American born. Um, how things could have been different if Chester was on the other side, you know, of this war. And, um, you know, if, if the tables tables were turned, how would this other guy feel towards Chester and, and so on? So it's just one of those, you know, it was just one of those scenes that were just set up beautifully. And, yeah, the conversation between the two was great. I know you felt the same. Even later on in the conversation when things change and, and we find out um, – 
that Otto or whatever is not who Chester thinks he is initially, which right, was yeah. cool because Chester's smart enough to take this picture. Um, which was, uh, it, you know, it was, it was, uh, it started out, you know, we were all thinking, who is this guy? And, um, really in the end, there are two men that enjoy the same kind of things, baseball, and they're talking, uh, you know, about, uh, about him, Otto striking out Lou Gehrig and all this kind of stuff. And, and we find out, remember he had the book, Otto had the book of those names and some of them were crossed out and we find out they were, um, you know, some of his baseball buddies that have died in the war. That's the right. ones that were crossed out. So, yeah, I mean, the conversation, like you said before, even with like the whole anime thing you said was crazy because he he did have that that character in his facial expression. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can see like the expressions around the eye that would be drawn in or, you know, when they're screaming or saying a he word. Was, so. And he was like, like gaunt. Like when, yeah. like when they, when, when in anime, those characters that are like, ah, they're like, and they're drawn the, elongated yeah. and shit. Yeah. So yeah, it was yeah, a very, no, it was very cool. Anime. What I liked about the whole thing was I loved how it, it flipped. It went around and it became, oh no, these aren't people he's killing. These are his baseball team. This is yeah. his team. And three of those guys are now dead. And they, yeah, I thought yeah. it was fantastic. I, I love the switch. What I liked was. Um, Chester's insight into, well, you crashed your plane, but you didn't kill yourself, and he's and he's like, you couldn't kill yourself, you know what yeah. I mean? He's like, oh, I'm 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 ashamed. He's like, I'm I'm a, you know, uh, to to my family, I shamed my family, this and that. But I just, but the other thing was, and then and then all of a sudden he's able to kill himself, yeah. because at that point he knew, because like, oh, they're coming for you. Yeah, he's like, and you know, chances are, you know, you're not going to survive this anyway. And he's like, well, I'm, I'm already ashamed to my family, but I can at least do this last thing, in honor. You yeah. Know? So, and he ends up killing himself, and then you know, like you said, he, you know, uh, I don't know if we talked about this on here on ca- off camera, but you know, the, the, the his his superior, Chester's superior, was it was very easy for him to just be like, yeah, well, he, he just makes up this scenario. Yeah, he just happened to you, right? Chester of everything that he. Yeah. Oh, but yeah. he also tells him one little thing about Takahashi. He tells him when he was born, when and where he was born. And he said that's more that any any American, uh, right. any Jap would have given a, you know any information to an American soldier or whatever. Right. So that was, yeah. I mean, it's 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 his worth. In the beginning, he feels useless because of the information he finds oh, out, right, Chester. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know about lose and now you know listen he's he's doing his part you know what i mean he's he's um he's taking charge in a lot of situations and uh, he's come out you know uh you know so yeah, yeah. so uh so then those yeah. guys show up cool so now, stuff now the good now the the replacements show up and then all of a sudden his buddy is i was like oh come on man because you know everybody that that person gets into Mm-hmm. That 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 um, uh, Yuko gets into is is gonna die. So finally, he gets taken and he just drives right through the camp and they're like, "Stop the jeep and everything." And then the thing fucking flips and, dude, she's like, "It's it's like shut up." It's like we have to go, we have to go, right? When they're in the car, he's like, "Just keep driving, just keep driving." And then they flip yeah. it or whatever. And then, yeah, dude, super fucking creepy. It flips out of the fucking thing. And I, the I, the bag the bag opens dude, up. It was one of the it, sickest uh, things, dude. It was so cool. Yeah, it was one of the yeah. it was one of the sickest. It's crazy. Things. It's like it's like um it's like ghost where after they die, like the body, you know, like you see that ghost thing like come out and you know the body's just useless. The vessel that she just used is just laying there, right, you know, right, on the yeah. ground and. And now the bag is starting to move, and, and they did a great job. I mean, she looks creepy as hell. The thumbnail. Uh, we talk, yeah, we t- exactly. The thumbnail. Exactly. We talked about, you know, we talked about the fact that as she uses this ability, she obviously decays more. Um, from the first scene, uh, first time we saw her in one of the first few episodes, remember she's just stitching. But her wait, cheek. but that's the thing. This, what? Okay. So you're saying that that because the more she reason- uses this Yuko body. The more decayed and disformed, yeah. and see, but I'm like not, it dies. Yeah, I'm something. not. I'm not too sure about that because it was already decaying, and it, I felt like when we first saw her in like the first episode, stitching up she her was face. Still, she I was thought, still beautiful. No, like, but I thought that was. I thought that might have been. I mean, it has been months. Though. Well, I guess it's been nine it's, months. It, yeah, it's her. I'm telling. It's it's, it's Yuko's body. It was decaying, and, and then when he killed the doctor. Little. 
Okay, yeah. so you're okay. Yeah. yeah, I guess. I guess. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't even she, think about it. Why would she like use that. the mask? But to, to walk around and she couldn't walk around as that decayed monster. She couldn't put makeup she on. She normally anymore. walked right, around right, 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 as right. Yuko, which was. But attractive. she was just. But the funny thing is, the funny thing is, the, the only reason why I have an issue with with what you're saying is that and she was. Say, yeah, she was Yuko when midwife. she was the midwife. Yeah. So I feel like. I feel like. Yeah, yeah she's, she's been using a lot of bodies. I don't know. I mean, maybe the farther distance she gets. I, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe the longer you're in the body, the the more it decay. I don't know. Something, I, I mean, that's not really the question. I mean, I'm still, there's still many questions that we have about this. And, and obviously, we had seen, remember when we had saw that uh, there were slashes in one of the previous episodes in the tent and, and the wind and all right, this kind so of stuff? What we is were that? thinking. Yeah, is that is that something separate? Was she controlling that? I don't know. No, because she. she now here's the thing. I don't know what that is. I I don't, I don't know if that had anything to do because she was in the states and she had to ship herself over. So yeah. I don't think so. Is there something else following? And mm -hmm. then so okay. So finally, she comes up. She goes over to him. She crawls over to him, mm -hmm. in all her glory, and says, "Taizo, it's time to go." Taizo and calls him Taizo. Yeah. So that now, as far as what I does know, that mean? That, that's a name. <laughs> yeah. So, no. What the hell? What is it? It's time to go. We have to leave. Well, what? what's the link? I mean, you said maybe there's something in the past, maybe in a, a former. So I don't know. Are we right. going to go into reincarnation or something? Like, I don't. I don't know. Like, I don't know if it's that exactly. Dude, it's it's it's. You know, uh, I mean, you, still I think, a mystery. I think you mentioned this in a previous one of our previous episodes, but I uh, mean, this is going to wrap itself up. Yeah, but, I mean, as far as this we is, know, it, this is you know, it's an anthology. The, the terror yeah. is an anthology now, so yeah. it's going to wrap itself up. So hopefully, we're going to get these answered. answered. Yeah. Know? So anyway, yeah. look, um, yeah, look, very, very, very creepy, very awesome. I guess let's leave it there. Let's just leave it at that as it was in the episode. Just let it be. I yep. mean, let us know what you guys think, you know, wherever wherever you're watching or listening or whatever. Let us know what you think because, you know, this is fun. It's a great show. It's a really interesting show. It How is. they're waving in the historical, you know, bits with the the supernatural. Like, it's blowing my mind. I don't know what the hell's happening. I'm, yeah. I'm heartbroken because of what's happening on the humanity side. And then I'm, but I'm, I'm freaked out and I'm, and I'm, confuses all hell is what's happening on the supernatural mm -hmm. side so it's it's a it's yeah. a fantastic show i'm loving i'm loving this shit, this this season hey so i cool. i agree 100 so percent. yeah it's a it's a it's a a new fantastic um series uh, of of uh the terror you know so like chris said i mean uh bright in the comments below let us know what you guys are thinking about um the terror uh infamy it's it's just it. i did it right you did it right <laughs> all right good yeah. so if you've been watching i've been like slaughtering that all the time so <laughs> leave that leave it in the comments chris and i love uh hearing from you guys you can check us out on all the social media outlets at third person you can actually type in the google search third person pod.com it brings you right to our youtube channel we have some awesome content up there some if you're badlands fans we have some great interviews with the multiple uh sides of the show the cast uh, daniel Wu, sherman augustus it's it's just a lot of, a lot of cool stuff in there. Um, we also just did a awesome interview with uh, special effects legend um, John Bruno, uh, which was another interesting as hell video. You can just press play and just listen to every uh, moment of that because he's just an interesting man and it gives a lot of insight on some of our classic uh, favorite movies. Yep. So uh, yeah, with that said, um, again thanks for supporting the show. Yep. We love you guys. Yep. See you next time. Bye.